Hi, I want to ask you a question. Is geotagging images important? Is it important to your business? Are you aware of what geotagging images is? How can you see whether your images are geotagged? And why should geotagging images matter to the growth of your business? With all those questions, plus some more, I'm going to look at today. And I'm also going to take you through how you can geotag your images so that your business will grow even in a stronger rate than ever before in Google My Business. Thanks for joining me. Hi, I'm Zane from Zanet Design. And what I do is I help businesses grow on the internet. I use my 20 years of experience to try and help you to see what you can do to be able to get more traffic, organic free traffic in Google. So today I'm going to look at, first of all, what geotagging images is and the easiest way to do it. The second thing I'm going to look at is how you can find out whether your images have been geotagged already. The third thing I'm going to look at is to see how you can for free add a geotag coordination to your images. And finally, I'm going to see the benefits of geotagging images for you. So first of all, to just say what geotagging images is, a geotag of an image is basically the latitude and the longitude coordinates of where the photo is taken on the planet can be embedded within the image itself. What we're going to do now is going to look at where you can see whether that's happened to one of your images. We'll see how it happens often through using a mobile phone, it will tag an image so that it then shows that coordination. And finally, we'll see how you can add it to your images for free and how that's going to help grow your business when it comes to having that information to just show that your business is authentic and true as far as Google's concerned. So let's dive straight into this project. So geotagging photos is a lot easier than maybe it appears. But at the same time, you may be asking the reason, well, why do I need to geotag photos in the first place? Well, first of all, if you were to take a photograph uh, of, say, some work that you were doing, say you're a plumber and you took some uh, photos of it and that job was in a local area and then you uploaded those photos to your Google My Business uh, area, your listing, then the geotag built within that image would then show that that image was taken a precise area on this planet. And if that precise area matches the type of area where you're saying you're working, then that gives again another a signal to Google that you are a relevant business within the area that you say you are. So you can see why geotagging is important. Now, the majority of images uh, may not have geotagging. It may be it's removed on your camera or on your phone. It could be that you're using images from website itself. So a lot of my designs are just a screen captures and it doesn't have any geotagging on. So how can I find out whether uh, I've geotagged my images? Well, there's quite a few things that I'm going to show you today that are really useful. First of all, uh, geotagging is just a case of uh, coordinates. So if you were to click on the area where your office is, and if you were then to say what's here, the coordinates here below, see here are my address, and then these coordinates are the 50.722 uh, and the um, the other coordinates that so we've now got up here. These uh, coordinates um, are basically saying where in the north and west it is. So it's a, a latitude and longitude of exactly where I am. And that's the figure you need. But you may say, well, that's a lot of figures. I want to copy it down right. I don't want to end up where it puts me in Brazil because I've got one of the figures wrong. Uh, there's nothing to worry about because there's a, a much easier way of doing it than this. But I'm just showing you this so that you understand what we're talking about when we use these numbers here and why we need to use them. So what I'll do is just show you if I've got a couple of images here. If I take uh, this first image, OK, and uh, if I look at the properties on this image, and the details there, you'll notice that if I go down into the information there, there's the latitude 50 and there's the longitude 1. So these figures here are relating to those ones we've just seen. It's a GPS uh, latitude and longitude. So this image does have it. If I go to my other image, 
you'll see that this one doesn't have it. So there's no longitude latitude, no GPS there at all. So what we're going to do, we're going to make this image so it can have it. Now you might think, well, is it just a case of going to properties, going to details, and then typing it in or adding it? Well, no, it's not. And you can't do that. And that's where the problem is, is you can't add these manually, like you might add a copyright or a tag or a comment. This is much more difficult. And that's why you need a tool to do so. Let's head back to uh, map. And what we're going to do is now we're going to take a really cool tool that's known as Geotag Photos Online. And what you can do here, you can check first of all um, whether you've actually got um, that information. So we know on this image we have, if I drag it here, you'll notice it picks up the longitude and latitude. If I then go a bit further in, you'll notice here the 50.7, the minus 1.8. So this was very close to where my office is. If I keep zooming in, you'll see actually it's very much where I'm sat today. So this is the uh, way to, to check whether you've got it. So we can see we do have it. So let's see how we can do it then by tagging it. So if I drop this on here, and at the moment it has no latitude. So I uploaded the photo, there's no geotags found. So we're going to add a geotag. So I'm going to put it as close as I can to my office. So this uh, this was a design I did and I want, there you go, this is how we do it. So it's in the Bournemouth pool area and I'm near the Christchurch section. So we'll say that's the type of area where I did the design for a client. Um, that's fine. So we see it's very close to 50 and a 1.8. I'm going to then um, write this, the photo's tagged, and now all I have to do is just download it. So I click download, and it's gonna make a copy of that image. So it's made a copy of that image, and I'll just bring that here. So exactly the same image, um, 356K, 356k so nothing's changed other than if I go into here the properties remember there wasn't anything before and there still is nothing there GPS wise I can now go to the copied version that's just been uh, tagged go to details you notice it's now added a GPS section and it's then put the right coordinates in there for me so this version of the image that I'm going to use so I'm going to delete this one I'm going to use this one just take that little piece off that and that's my new image that has my coordination and then finally uh, the reason we do this is if I now upload some images to my Google my business and if I drag that one across for instance it then gives another piece of evidence of my work to Google which is now uploaded but also what it's done is Google now looks at that and goes well actually that was done in the Bournemouth area this is a Bournemouth uh, website designer and that is just one more way in which you help Google to value you as a local business. So you can do that for anything. There's something web design, it can be done for plumbing, it could be done for estate agents, it could be done for mechanics, whatever the case is. If you're uploading photos that haven't been tagged on your phone, then this is the way to do it. Geoimagear.com. Hope it's been useful and I'll catch you again soon.